Armenia is a land of timeless history and hidden treasures. Located in the South Caucasus, this country is a blend of rich heritage, culture, breathtaking landscapes, and gastronomy. Armenia, one of the world's oldest nations, remains an undiscovered gem for many. It holds the distinction of being the first nation to embrace Christianity as its state religion. Let's not forget that Yerevan, the capital of Armenia, is one of the oldest cities in the world. In fact, the city is older than Rome. Armenia, with a population of less than 3 million, is one of the safest countries, making it a must-visit for every traveler. In this video, I share all you need to know before traveling to Armenia. Do you need a visa? Good news for all travelers, getting to Armenia is a breeze for most nationalities. If you are from the US, most European countries, or about 22 others like Iran, China, and Japan, you are in luck. You can throw right into Armenia without the fuss of a visa. Don't worry if your country is not on this list, 20 more countries can get visas on arrival, and many other countries can apply for an e-visa. For more information, make sure to check out the official website. Is Armenia safe to visit? Armenia is actually one of the safest countries for travelers. The crime rate is very low, but you might have heard in the news about the conflicts in the country. Armenia has no official relations with Turkey and is technically at war with Azerbaijan. So it is wise to avoid traveling close to the border and the UK government advises against all travel within 5 km of the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Quick tip, if Azerbaijan is on your list, skip visiting Nagorno-Karabakh. We had Armenian stamps on our passport and we were stopped in Azerbaijan. One of the questions we were asked was if we visited this region or not. An easier option is to visit Azerbaijan first and then Armenia. How to get to Armenia? The most convenient way to get to Armenia is by flying to Yerevan International Airport. There is no direct flight from London to Armenia, but there are regular flights from other European cities like Athens, Kyiv, and Frankfurt. Now, if you are already in Georgia, you've got the option to take a terrain ride into Armenia. And if you're coming from Iran, you can either catch a flight from Tehran to Yerevan or up for a bus journey. The border between Turkey and Armenia is a no-go. So if you're coming from Turkey, your best bet is to head to Georgia first and then make your way to Armenia. Money in Armenia. All right, let's talk about money in Armenia. The official currency is the dirham and it is divided into 100 lumami, which are their versions of coins. Now, if you're thinking of bringing some cash, it is a good idea to go with US dollars or euros. You can easily exchange them at currency exchange offices, banks, and even some larger hotels in the cities. Speaking of which, in Yerevan, the capital, you find that most cafes, restaurants, and shops accept Visa and MasterCard. But here's the thing, you still need cash for some situations, especially if you plan to explore more of the beaten path places. No worries though, you'll find ATMs around Yerevan and plenty in major cities too. But if you are traveling to rural areas, it is a good idea to have some cash with you. Can you drink tap water? Water in Armenia is considered one of the tastiest and cleanest water in the world. So drinking tap water is safe and very common in Armenia. You will see many fountains for drinking water in the streets of Yerevan and other Armenian cities and villages. This looks like a normal fountain, but it's actually drinkable water. I've seen people in Armenia drink this water. You don't need to buy bottled water, but if you really want, you can still get bottled water almost everywhere in the country. Internet and SIM cards Internet works fine in Yerevan and the main cities. Most hotels, restaurants, cafes, and bars offer free Wi-Fi in Yerevan. But if you are planning to travel to rural areas, the best way to stay online is to purchase a local SIM card. 
There are three main operators, VivaCell, Ucom, and Team Telecom. You can buy a SIM card from any of these companies at the airport or in Yerevan. What to wear in Armenia? Armenia is still a Christian and conservative country, which means you should avoid wearing revealing clothes if you want to be respectful and avoid unnecessary attention. In Yerevan, the situation is a bit different, but outside the city, you don't see short skirts or tank tops, and most local men wear trousers. During the summer when it can get hot, it's common to wear a t-shirt and shorts or a skirt just above the knee. How many days should you spend in Armenia? Armenia is a small country with a rich history and beautiful landscapes. If you want to only see Yerevan and a couple of touristy spots in the country to kick it off your bucket list, you only need a few days. But that's not really enough. You should spend at least a week or 10 days to see what the country has to offer and visit the most important historical sites and the main attractions in the country. How to get around If you plan to stay in Yerevan, you can rely on public transport, taxis, or travel on foot. You can also take day trips from the city to some of the most popular tourist attractions in Armenia. There are buses running between cities, but not everywhere in Armenia is easily accessible by public transport. The most convenient way to go around the country is by renting a car. However, driving in Armenia comes with its own challenges. Local drivers don't follow basic driving rules, and some roads are not in good condition. This might put you off, but we still think that you can drive in Armenia if you are an experienced driver. Driving is uh, okay. The roads are a little bit uneven here and there, and sometimes there's quite surprising speed bumps out of nowhere, so you have to watch out. While in the city is a little bit more stressful, I guess outside there's not a lot of traffic, but in the city it can be a little bit aggressive. It's not, a, it's not too bad, it's better than I expected. Food in Armenia. One of the many reasons that I would like to go back to Armenia is the food. Armenian cuisine is a mixture of Caucasian and Mediterranean cuisine. And you can see the influence of the Middle Eastern and especially Persian on Armenian cuisine in the use of fruit, both fresh and dried, in soups and main dishes. Basically, the food in Armenia is tasty and delicious and the main reason is the use of fresh ingredients let's not forget that eating out in armenia is cheap and you can go to a fancy restaurant without breaking the bank language in armenia the only official language in the country is armenian russian is the most common foreign language in armenia and english is the second one but it is gaining popularity. Most restaurants in Yerevan have English menus, and you will see many young people also able to speak in English. But this is not the case when you travel to rural areas. Some places don't even have an English menu. In this case, we use Google Translate to communicate with locals, and it was quite helpful. Where to stay in Armenia? Many visitors choose Yerevan as their base to explore the country. There are various types of accommodation in the city and you can easily book a four-star hotel for less than 100 pounds per night. But if you want to stay outside the hustle and bustle of the city, you can stay in a resort in nature in Zagazor, Lake Sevan, or Dilijan National Park. In general, Armenia is not an expensive country and you can always find nice accommodation. If you're looking for what to do and what to see in Armenia, make sure to watch my video about the top places to visit in the country. Same as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.